Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Nandu's World and today I'm going to shine a path with this cave that I will let you to draw with these four items. A pencil, an eraser and a sharpener and color pencils and I'll open the pot. Okay guys, I want to be dramatic and so I take the card keys and if I don't give them back to my dad, I'll be in real trouble right now. Dad! Now I'm going to, I mean, as I was saying this, I'm going to shine you a pack that can let you draw with these four items that I just said. So, oh. First, I'll give you four tips in four items or more than four tips, but I'll start with the first one. So, first one, it's a mistake problem, but it can still be useful. First tip, if you don't know what to draw and you're confusing that, you just think very hard if you want to draw something like a landscape, landscape or I mean nature, animals, humans, anyone you can choose. And if you choose one, decide which human or nature or animal you want to draw. And then if you pick the correct one in your brain, look, test it in Google. And you will see that you will find in the picture that will be correct for your drawing which you choose. And then you check your color pencils. Make sure you have the colors correct for or your picture. Coloring. Colors. You know, like for example. A flamingo, oh, it's pink and light pink and, and the red, like that. You see, uh, oh, those colors you got, if you have, then you got to choose those. That's simple, right? And that adds a first tip for you. But before that, when you finish something, add something new into it. Like a bird you draw and... Uh, you will think it's a little boring. Then you'll draw more birds around it, flapping around it. And that sounds like a good idea, right? Okay. And uh, first tip is done. And second, may always make sure you have your reference photo. Meaning that you gotta have a photo which you're depending on. So you can correct the fur and all the stuff with only pens, color pencils. Don't need very much items. I'll be demonstrating all of that in a flamingo drawing, which I was, which I'll demonstrate on. So, oh, oh that my tip is not over yet. For now, when you choose your colors, make sure those colors will get the shading texture. Meaning that when you finish the drawing, add some shadows to make it more 3D with a black pencil or something like that. That's useful, right? Yeah, very useful for you and many people. I hope you're getting what I'm saying, hey guys. So, make sure your reference photos here and your color. And uh, the third tip, is it the third or the fourth? I forgot. Uh, let's just make the third tip. Okay, third tip. How to uh, draw fur with only color pencil. It is very simple, okay, this one. It's very, very simple. Just draw some lines, but make sure you are using a reference photo because line, those fur can be anywhere moving. With the wind blowing, you know, like a fox, 
But if the wind was so strong, the fur will be blowing, right? That's why you need a reference photo to work. So, that, so you gotta create a curly line. So, that, and it's over. but add some um, dark lines with it when you finish the light texture, okay? I'll demonstrate all of that in the flamingo drawing, okay? And next tip will be, in the fourth tip must be shading of closer. This is very important, guys. I'll grab a piece of paper. So, guys, I grabbed a piece of paper and I'm ready to demonstrate shading for you guys. For example, if you want to shade it, it's always dark to light or light to dark. For example, I will show you dark to light. Now, make sure you have a sharp pencil for this and I don't have it that sharp, so I'll tap it right now. Just show you and it will be much brighter. You see, you should hold it like this, sir. not another way, okay? Now we I'll do dark to light. See the dark layer is done. Now I move to the little light darker. Layer. Make sure the adds character, okay? You see, I'll make it go. Okay. Maybe this paper line will come, but no problem, okay? Uh, that I will demonstrate in another video. The paper spots, you see? This paper spots, uh, that's a very good one. Try. But I'll now move to a little light layer. Now to the little medium right there. Now to the little light layer and now to the very light layer. You see? This is shading now, you see. And it's great for shadows, you see. Like for example, an egg. But, but you don't know where the shadow will fall. Which means that the shadow, you don't know where it will fall. And where will the shadow be? For example, an egg. So where will be the shadow be? Down. The shadow will be down, but where the egg eggs any shadow will be. The eggs the part will be a little uh, difficult. But that's not difficult at all. You just look at your reference photo or a real thing. So that I hope you understand. You don't need to ex use my exactly same pencil I got here. You can use any color pencil to create shading. Anyone will know that. See, this is shading. Now I think you understand what a, all this is. But if you want to smoothen this layer out, I'll just try it with my finger to just try it. See, it's not working. A little bit it shows, but not that well, you see. This is where the solver technique comes in, but uh, I will show you in that in another video. This video, the flamingo is a little bit only. The solver technique, it, you don't need it because that's a lot of the material, huh? So oh, you can just make it this regular way, another way. I hope you have another technique, huh? So I hope you like that one. Now, let's move to the demonstration, okay? I'll just bring another paper, okay? Finally, I got one. For the demonstration, I got the paper. Now, where's my reference photo? Ah, here it is. Now, I'm ready to draw a... So, you remember what I'm drawing? A flamingo. So I need my pencil. Okay guys, so I first have to start with the flamingo's head. Draw very light layers, okay? But if even if you do dark layers, you can lighten them up with a razor. 
you know, uh, now I understand why we only need a color pencil and a pencil and an eraser. And where is my sharpener? It's there. Uh, I can't just go there and take it again. Okay, let's say, uh, keep on drawing. Now the head is done, but flamingos have very large mouth shaped beaks. I bet you can't see this drawing, right? But if I make it closer, can you see one line? I hope. Yes, you can, right? That's a flamingo's head. Now I'll draw the beak. You maybe can't see it, but if I brighten it up with colors, I bet you can really see it. And drawing the beak, you maybe can't see it, but I'll bring it closer one more time. Okay, that's enough, right? Every time I draw a step, I promise I'll make it closer, okay? Not every time, after I do one by one steps. And draw the other layer of the beak. Like that, and like that, and like that. Go there, and there. Mm -hmm. Now I'll draw a twisty turn over here. And put this here. See? I bet you can't see it, but you can't, right? I bet you can. It's a little dark, right? But I'll just try to lighten it up with the razor later. Now I'll draw the neck. I bet you heard of this flamingo, right? Or not, or yes. I bet you have, okay? Because flamingos are very proper. proper uh, yeah, I can say it very properly. <laughs> now I'll draw the tail. I bet you can't see it, but I'll. After I do all of this, I'll show you. Looking like an ostrich, right? I know it does. But if you had some little texture that's not in the ostrich features, I'm sure it won't look like an ostrich. But it does so far to me. I bet you can't see my drawing. A little bit you can see, but I lighten those textures up with an eraser. You now see that we only need these four items. I'm using forever colors to color them later. But you don't not really, you can use any color you want. Any color. I'm telling you, any color you want. You choose the color. Any for any color, speech is a color. Like oil color, no, I bet you can't find them here. Anyway, and this beak is not very similar to any, any bird, huh? I bet yeah. the beak is a little more long because flamingos are very. Now I'll draw the eye. And I see the eye, but it looks like I did some bits wrong. The eye is connected a little, but you can't see it either. It's super super small and a little creepy. Okay, very creepy. I bet you can see now. 
right? Yep. And so far, it doesn't look like a flamingo or any bird I ever seen. That's because we are not done yet, and we still have a long way to go. I made this a simple drawing. Flamingos turn sun only one leg, one leg, but this is the back leg in here. And this flamingo is almost about to fold his leg. I'll make it shorter. Now I'll draw the feet. Now another feet. This flamingo is almost about to fold his leg. And the flamingo looks uh, very good, huh? I think it maybe. But not that pink too. And not that pink, right? Flamingos are pink colored bird. First, I'll draw the feet a little more further from the neck. Okay, that's good. Let me connect it. That leg to the tail feather. Now I'm all done here, you see. I bet you can't see it, but I'll draw some tiny little details left in the feather. That wing, you see, even though flamingos have very, very, very long legs, they can still fly very, very good. <laughs> That's a no, so much. Can you imagine that? But flamingos don't only stand where and they're doing this, this stirring. They also sleep on, sleep, eat, do. They also sleep on, uh, do, on one leg. What? You don't believe me? Then check it for yourself. Now I'll draw some more parts of the leg. The leg should be more long. Oh, definitely yes. The flamingo has the longest leg in any bird. Okay guys, I got to make the wing a little more sturdy. I bet you can see and not see the wing, right? Because it's super light because I don't need to draw most that one. But when I I bet you can see it a little. I'll close up the paper. Okay guys, our flamingo is done. Only I did this with the with this pencil. You don't need so much items for it. Now we still have one more thing to do. Can you guess what it is? Of course, it's coloring. So this is the part. I'm sorry. Before coloring, I want to lighten up it so you can't even see it. So you got to do this too. Lighten it up with an eraser. Okay? You don't need very much erasers. So I'll fast forward this part. Okay guys, I bet you can't even see any little part of the flamingo. I bet you even can see any head parts either. But I'll just... But I will now do the coloring. Okay? Follow along with me if you want to or do your own photo. But 
I'm not doing a fast for the kalari. Okay? Because I want to show you guys how I did the coloring. So it'll be more easy for you to guess too. So let's begin. You see guys, this is Perba Castles. It says right here. And it says uh, 24 color uh, pencils. And it says Perbist Fit. Perfect color uh, with pencils. Crayon D colors, meaning that it's very oily. So that's great for this. When I was doing the shading, I did not use a uh, purple castle, but I'm going to try these out. Uh, lay. So first is the head. So we're not only using pink for the flamingo. We're also using red along with it. And a little bit of orange just to get that correct shape. First we need red. I mean this is not red, this is orange dark orange. And we need gotta sharpen them up right because they're very small now. castles you don't need to sharpen that often meaning that you don't need to sharpen too much like regular pencils now i need a pink of clothes the flamingo it's always pink and of clothes i need black for some shading bits i think i got them all ready now i need these colors for the head and the body for so oh i'll tell you how i did this sir so the first thing to do is la uh, you need some light strokes uh, of pink uh, and to uh, get lighter and lighter as we go good pink huh but pink is for girl good, good, good. now I gotta try this out now I'll add red access to it to make it much more like a realistic texture you know now I'll repeat with the red but when I get to the edge here or if I had to stop immediately I gotta stop and to make the eye more recognizable I'll just draw a dot you can see the eye perfectly I bet you can't huh if I remove it yeah. now you're seeing it right I hope you see it because the eye is very important in this shape See, eye is now recovered, and now I'll just continue here. But before I do, add one shadow here. See, now it's more thrilling, right? Now I'll add the pink layer until this feather, okay? So I'll just try. Fast forwarding. I said fast forwarding, okay? Now, let's now you're talking. 
fluff fluff flamingo fluff fluff flamingo fluff fluff flamingo See and do like this. You should do it like this too. Now I'll add a little shadows where this place ends up. So this is the where the shadow should be. Careful, okay? You see guys, now I think it doesn't even look like a bird, right? So we should draw the beak immediately, no matter what. Else. Now I already got black here where I'm standing. Now I'll draw like this. You maybe can't see the lines, but I can. It's very invisible even for me. But I got to be really careful to be seeing that. Now I'll, draw, I'll add a little pink over here. Here. Fluff, fluff, flamingo. Fluff, fluff, flamingo. Fluff, fluff, flamingo. Fluff, fluff, flamingo. Now before I go to the wings, and add a little orange here with the pink. Add a little dark orange texture there. Okay, now it's done. The neck is looking very perfect, guys. I bet you see it very well. Yeah. So you see now? Now I told you that the wings are very important. But I add a little bit of that here. This is the wing where I'm not doing the color. Here, you see? I bet I can see. The wing is just about here. See this? There. I bet you can't see it, but if you are here, I bet you really can see. Now I add a little pink where this is. The pink is very important in the flamingos. Now, I'll add a little bit shadow here. That's looking very good, huh? I bet. You see, it's very oily, huh? Good for mixing up colors. Fluff, fluff, flamingo. And it's very easy to do, 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 you think? Now I'm going to, you know, add some pictures to here. But before I do, I'll show you how I did it too. Now I'll add a little red door here. And a little pink over here. And a now I'll add a little bit. So sorry. 
meaning that allowed some feather texture here make it brighter and for you to see where I am putting those textures to resist this acrylic color okay. I'm using purple color as I already said but you can use any any color you want any color if you don't know much of color colors no problem now oh, I'll get closer and closer here and go here now I got to add some pink layer this is looking very much like a flamingo now I'll add some Feather texture shadows. Like that. See? That's very good, you don't you think? Now We'll add a little bit Now I'll add a little bit Now I'll add some lines Now I'll add a little more orange pictures in that. Now I'll add some white layer. I mean I mean a pink layer. Red over here. I'll add a little orange to that. Pink bird. Now I'll add a little pink hues in this. Fluff, fluff, flamingo. You see a perfect flamingo. Now I'll do the legs. With this grey and black working together, I shall add it to it. And now to add a little black where this is. A little pink between it. And now finally some, I already told you, put one soul into your heart. I'll add a little water.
with these colors. Now add a little bit that. And now I'll add the reflection. See, this is all perfect. And this flamingo is standing on one leg. And now I'll add one final point. for this part. No king or tinga ringa, tinga ringa, tinga, tinga, tinga.
Okay guys, now all is done. I draw the lake using this color and it's small now. Bubble castles are amazing, huh? To do this much. Now it's complete, definitely. Before that, I like to add one last detail. First, I would like to add gray here. And another. It's a bird. The seagull bird. Dun, dun, dun. So I hope you like this video where I give you tips how to draw or uh, something mm, with only these four materials: pencil, eraser, sharpener, and color. So I hope you liked it as so much as you could and you don't uh, remember you don't need for the castle you can use any card you have so i really like this video and uh, until uh, another video comes in i like you to subscribe this channel and uh, subscribe to non news world and likes and hit the bell button hey i finally tell likes without saying in thumbs up and i just said thumbs up do you have to be a party pooper bye guys